Good morning, YouTube. Guess what? We got a long ass day ahead of us because we are driving to Santa Fe. That's right. We have a long drive, 14 hours now. I'm an hour in and I forgot I didn't start recording at all. So I was like, oh fuck, let me do that real quick while I'm getting gas. So, yep, long drive. Might do B-roll, depends on how I feel about recording b-roll uh, but it's gonna be worth it it's gonna be fun uh shout out to mom for the haircut it's kind of messy because i didn't do anything with it but yep all right see you there yeah We are on our second piss break on the road so far. Yeah. Third piss break, second gas refill, and no Texas uh, fucking what? No, yes. No Texas road trip isn't complete without a quick. Bucky's run. That's right. We're at Bucky's. We're gonna pee in one of the greatest bathrooms in all of Texas, and also get some get some nutrition. Cause yeah, holy fuck, I am tired, but still got 10 more hours, baby. Let's do this. We're close. E roll. I don't understand why Bucky's candy pecans are so damn good. Like, I swear they put crack in it. Like, goddamn it. Like, it's so dangerous. I like, I hate it because God, I, I could eat like an entire gallon bucket of this shit. Oh my God. Third filler up. We are six hours away. And I don't know where the fuck I am. I'm in like the buff fuck of nowhere, Texas. I think I'm like an hour away from Amarillo. So I'm up, I'm up there in that in that square section, if anyone knows what I'm talking about. But yeah, almost there. Also I realized that like the beginning of this vlog is just gonna be all B-roll for like probably five minutes. And so yeah, this this is this is probably gonna be a very shitty beginning vlog vlog. Fourth filler up. Scary moment though. Um, what is it? Literally had like 10, 10 gallons or 10 miles left. And like, I was just freaking out because I could not find any gas station nearby. Also, beautiful sky. Santa Fe is beautiful, is very scenic, but we have one last hour, which is perfect, and piss five. Let's go. Uh, probably gonna call it for B-roll here, cause fuck, uh, it's probably like six minutes in now, so yeah. I'm in my hotel. Um, it is, I don't know, my God, my Apple Watch is dead, of course. Um, I think it's 10. I am tired. I ate dinner, ate Buffalo Wild Wings. Um, everyone thought I was 21. Um, and now I feel really old. Um, it, I, don't, I don't know, yeah, like, they're just like, oh yeah, the bar is open, you could go right ahead. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. And then the, like, the bartender was like, oh, can I see ID? I'm like, and I'm just like, oh no, I'm just, I just want water because I, I don't want to drink. Even if like, I won't like did show, I don't even have an ID. I'm not 21. And she was all like, and then and she was like, you're 21, right? And I'm all like, yeah. I just said yes, because I didn't want to move because I know that if you're not 21, you're not allowed to sit at the bar. So I'm just like, yeah, I'm, I'm 21. And she's like, okay, yeah. And, I'm just, and then I just ate dinner. Ugh, fuck and then dude like i love bar culture just like the dude next to me just started talking to me and then we were catching up and then i found out that he's from atlanta 
and then like his sister is from Houston. And then I'm just like, oh, that's crazy. And then like the people next to him was just like, you have a sister that's like, your sister's from Houston? And then he's like, yeah. He's like, my sister's from Houston too. And then um, we're all just like, what the fuck is going on? Like the world, world's crazy. Anyways, the vlog just starts here. All right, we finally made it. The vlog starts in Good morning! That is right, it is 9, 10 in the morning. I had a great sleep because my god, that drive made me so much more tired than I thought. Oh, but now the vlog starts. We are going for breakfast and our first joint was supposed to be Flying Star, but then I learned that Flying Star in Santa Fe is shut down. It's just like, oh, what the fuck happened? So the only flying stars are in Albuquerque. So that might have to be a tomorrow thing. But uh, we chilling, uh, fit check. You already know, we got the Gundams. All right, let's go. Food. Our first stop, downtown subscription. Um, I haven't been to this cafe in over 10 years. And I remember right here, is where I would run away. Guys, I live down this street, uh, Garcia Street, and I'm very tempted to go visit the old house, just look at it from the outside. So I'm gonna do that. But yeah, I used to, uh, I mean, when you're a kid, you always run away from home when like the slightest inconvenience happens. It's like, no, mom didn't let me eat ice cream. I'm gonna run away. You know, something stupid like that, right? So like, I would always run down this sidewalk and just run to this cafe over here because yeah, I had nothing, I had nowhere else to go. And then, so then like my parents always knew that's where I would run away. So it was like an easy, like easy location to find me. And they're like, oh no, he's fine. He's just at the cafe. <laughs> Cause yeah, that's what it was. But damn, I feel like it got a lot more greener. Also, let me talk about the weather. I love Santa Fe weather. It's so nice. Like, it's 67 degrees outside. And that is awesome. Like, this is like hoodie weather. And if I'd known, I would have brought a hoodie. But I was assuming it was going to be like 100 degrees since it's August, right? But no, it's like 67 in August. Like, this is great. I, I don't know which house was my old house. That's for sure. My God. You know what? Screw it. We're not gonna visit the old house. We're just gonna go eat breakfast. Oh man. Also coffee. Coffee sounds amazing right now. Let's do that. We're gonna do that. Look at this beautiful road, beautiful weather. Air feels clean. I love clean air. Like, my nostrils aren't burning like they usually do when I'm in Texas. Like, here, I'm like, wow, I'm one with nature kind of vibe. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. Got food. Check it out. This cop, this cappuccino looks fucking amazing. This cafe hasn't changed at all in over 10 years. Like, I remember everything. It's beautiful. I love this place. It's nice. Just finished eating breakfast. Cappuccino's amazing. Uh, just confirmed that all the coffee shops in College Station are dog shit. And that quiche was huge in nostalgia because the first time I ever had quiche was at that cafe. And I was like, wow, this is solid. So, quick detour because from our initial, what is it, location. Because we are at my childhood park right now. I remember this park. It was by pure coincidence. I just saw the hill all the way back there. And I was like, oh shit, I know where we are. Like over here in the basketball courts, that's where my brothers and I would, or siblings and I would always play. These swings right here. God damn it. Oh my God, this is nostalgic. Like this is insane, guy. Like this, I, I am actually just like mesmerized right now from how how much I remember. Cause I mean, I was like, 
I was like, what, eight years old when I left? Maybe? I don't know. How old How old are you when you're in first, first grade? Well, yeah, and then like during winter time, like this entire thing is just covered in snow. So now it'll be great for like sledding. Oh my God, I don't know if I should walk. And eh, whatever, these, these dunks have already gotten ruined from Mardi Gras. Oh my God. This is insane. Look at this grass. This is not, oh, I just remember something. There is a river. That is right, there's flowing water, if I remember correctly, where we used to do some pond hopping, or not pond hopping, just like, I don't even know. Let's just look. Holy fuck. This is nostalgic. It's actually crazy. Hey, this, I remember having so many play dates at this park. Remember when play dates were a thing? And now we just call them hangouts? Because, like, I don't know. Yeah, why did, why did we stop calling them play dates? Probably because the word date is involved. There's flowing water down there. I, I can't jump from this side, but I know there is a side you could jump down from. Oh my God, dude, there's, there's the water. I can't believe I remember this. This is actually impressive. Like my memory is, like I always thought growing, like growing up, I always thought I had like very short term memory because, or actually now that I think about it, no, I do have like short term memory loss, I swear. It's like a lot of sh like things that happened recently, I always forget, but like things from like long ago, like I still remember for some reason, like this river right here, oh my God. Ooh, it is, it is muddy though. Let's just touch it and then we'll call it. Wow, wow. Feel that, feel that water right there. Holy fuck, oh, it is steep. But wow. Maybe I shouldn't have wore these dunks. I should have brought my beater shoes, my gym shoes. That way I could have explored a lot more freely. Or I just explore anyways. And just say, fuck it, we ball with these shoes. I might actually do that. Oh my God. This is awesome. Okay, back to the original plan, which is my first elementary school, um, Rio Grande. Let's see if I could go in. Yeah, let's see, let's see. We're in the school, which is really cool. This was my kindergarten classroom. This water tank is still there after several, several years, which is so cool. I mean, no, honestly, nothing has changed <laughs> in my opinion over the 10 years, which is super neat. Um, I might just go to my first grade classroom real quick and see if I can drop by and then maybe go visit, look at the library Oh, I thought I was locked out for a second. Uh, yeah, this, this hallway right here. Like, I remember this. First grade right here. And then I found out my first grade teacher is still teaching here. Oh my God. It's the same. It is the exact same. Oh, motion sensor. Gosh. Look how tiny these tables are, man. Dude, kids are small, very small. I could, I could almost touch, if I go on my tippy toes, I touch the roof. This is weird. I feel so weird right now. Like I'm not, it's like too much, too much nostalgia to the point where I just feel old, but not even old. I'm only like 20, not like 20 and 20. Oh my God, dude, this is, this is weird. Ooh, I actually kinda, <laughs> yeah, no, I, th I think it's on to the next location. So yeah, but wow, this, this place still exists. Yeesh, I'm okay. Also side note, uh, this bathroom right here, I took a ton of massive shits. I don't know why I remember and why I remembered but yeah, first grade me was no different from me right now. That's for sure. 
Okay, we're in we're in the plaza right now. Um, so my biggest regret right now is that I never brought a hoodie or pants because it's like perfect weather. Like I could have such better drip right now. But ah, uh, whatever. It is what it is. I mean, it's still so nice. I love the weather. Also, I forgot that I like, or not forgot, but just like came to realize that I really do like um santa fe's architecture like it's like minecraft you get sandstone and then you get smooth sandstone you know like smooth sandstone so much cleaner like i'm sick and tired of seeing bricks everywhere like bricks are boring like that's like some vanilla shit you know like sometimes vanilla is good but not not when it comes to bricks so yeah like i like i like the smoothness you know they even like different colors different shades but that's nice. I like that. Oh, but our first stop in the plaza is some ice cream. That's right. We're going to Hagen Dots. There's a Hagen Dots here, which my family and I would always go to every weekend because you know your boy loves some fucking ice cream. But besides that, yeah, I don't know, man. This is. Ugh, goddamn. Too nostalgic. It's scary how much I remember. And it's more like, not actual memory, but like feeling. Like, kono kimochi, I don't know, like the feeling of this city is what I remember the most. Like, not the places, really, and like the looks, but the feeling, the vibe. And I don't know why I remember it so well. Oh, all right, ice cream. Oh boy, up here we go. This is the central part of everything right here, folks. Five and Dime, which we're gonna go to real quick, is an old shop, very old. We're here, Hagen Dots. That's right. I get some ice cream. Woo! How you doing? Oh, they got caramel cone and rum raisin. Damn! It's fire. Oh, I don't know what to get. They got the sorbet over here, too. All right. Um, let me just get, like, a regular sugar cone with um, uh, coffee and rum raisin. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Actually, no, let me just get one scoop of coffee. Yeah, just one scoop. On a cone still, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, just coffee. Damn, bro, grab me an extra scoop. We got two scoops. Man, it's clutch as fuck. Damn. Look how beautiful the plaza is, dude. Very nice. Got a lady playing the violin. Ice cream on a cold day is always nice. Put down the camera real quick. So the plan now is... Um... I'm going to explore the plaza for like an hour, and then at lunchtime, I'm going to go, where am I going to go? Oh yeah, green chili stew, that's where I was going to go, um, at a cafe, or not cafe, at a restaurant that my family and I used to go to, and then for dinner, I'm going to come back here, and you'll see, um, but yeah. I just deep throated that ice cream on camera. Uh oh. What a bustling city. There's not. I don't know. I feel like everyone here is like a tourist. And like, yeah, what I'm learning is that a lot of residents are very old. They're like, or like, they're more on the like the elderly side. Which I don't know if that's always been the case. So yeah, this is. This is interesting. 
I was hoping there's some cute girls or something I could go talk to, you know? Because I'm a I'm a fucking giga chad like that. Ah oh, fuck. There's paper on the comb. Ah oh, whatever. You see you see that? Here's the thing. I know I'm like preaching Santa Fe or I have been in the vlog and throughout this video. But the thing is, I don't think I ever want to live here. Because like yes, the weather is perfect. It's just like the weather I want to live in. Yes, I love mountains. And mountains are literally surrounded this entire place. However, it is just not like the ideal city for me. Like there's a lot of aspects that I wish there was. Like one, I love late night joints. I'm a night owl. I'm not a morning person, you know? So it's just so like the fact that everything closes very early, like by 9 p.m., the city is dead. And I'm like, 9 p.m., I just woke up, kind of thing. <laughs> you know, like my, my, my night just starts at like 9 p.m. So, like, that's one issue. And two, it gets dark. It's dark as fuck at night. Like, you can't see jack shit. All the lights here are orange, too. So, it's kind of darker. But yeah, I mean, it's like, that's just that's just how the vibe is. I can't believe I'm saying this, but it feels like a mixture of College Station at night, you know, like having a bunch of like late night joints open and like the quiet quietness at night with like just like with the temperature, with like with these types of architecture. That, that's my ideal city right there. The thing is, the pro that probably exists. I just don't know where. Like, honestly, probably, I just like 24-hour joints. Like, but the reason why I love Fuego so much is because it's 24 hours. <coughs> oh, joking on a piece of cone. Honestly, I feel like Santa Fe will be a good retirement area. It's, like, very... It's very relaxing, that's for sure. Do feel one with nature out here? What the fuck? What is this art piece? Oh, oh my god, okay. That art piece right there confused the living shit out of me. That's a man holding some sort of cat, like jaguar probably. Yeah, man, man and lion. Okay, dude. I thought, oh my god, I thought it was like two dudes, and then the like the cat was a guy with just a massive dick, like fuck. <laughs> All right, so the thing is, we are trying to go to another ice cream shop. What? Well, it's not ice cream. It's gelato. So there's this gelato place from my childhood called Echo. Now the thing is, Echo. I had the best gelato I've ever had in my life. And I had gelato in Italy. The place where gelato was existed or was created. And not not even that tops echo. But I looked up on Google Maps and it says that it's permanently closed. Why? That's what we're about to find out. And see if it's true. Because if it's true then we cry. But if it's not, then we'll go for ice cream later tonight. Like round two kind of thing. <sighs> but we can only hope that Echo is still alive, which I don't think it is. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. Are you doing a video? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm streaming right now. Yeah. I'm like recording like a little vlog. Oh, cool. Yeah. Cool. You have a good one. Yeah, I will. See, wonderful people too. I like people here. Oh, there's a bike shop. Maybe I could go buy my bike here. <laughs> oh, God, dude. I can't believe my bike got stolen, man. Twice, too. I still can't get over it. It's just too funny. First time was, first time was, like, understandable, kind of, because I fucked up. But second time is just funny at that point. Like, something's up. The fact that my bike got stolen twice. Oh. It was this place. Damn. 
Okay. So yeah, Echo is gone. It is now this coffee shop right here, which is unfortunate, or and this tattoo joint. Let me, I don't know. Ah, there we go. Damn, that's unfortunate. Fuck. Well, there goes the stretchatella ice cream, which was fire. Aw, Zanen. Can't believe Echo is gone. Did you guys remember? Are you guys from Santa Fe? No, she's been here longer than we have. Oh, well, do you guys remember there was a gelato store right where that body art now is? You guys remember that? It's called Echo. I have only been here for the last three years. I realize I've been here. It's been a body art store, but it used to be called Icky Guy. Oh, interesting. So okay. Well, before that? Yeah, no, because, I mean, it's been over 10 years since I've okay. been back here, so yeah. Um, oh, okay. Sorry, well, it's gone, no, it's I okay. It I mean, it was like the best gelato I ever had in my well, life. No, and I, I and I've been to Italy too and it, that place was even better. <laughs> so it's just like, dang. All right. And now you know what business you can start here. Oh, that's true. <laughs> Y'all have a great one. Man, I'm pretty amazing. My my communication skills are probably on point right now. I don't know why. I think I just give zero fucks. That's why. Maybe there's frozen yogurt. <laughs> All right, but if you guys haven't figured it out by now, this entire trip revolves around food. Like me visiting old restaurants and like places where they had great food. You know, I mean, that cafe from for breakfast, that nostalgia right there. Hagen, Hagen Dogs, nostalgia. It's supposed to be gelato, I guess not. But it's okay. It is lunchtime, and that means our second stop for a nostalgia trip is the green chili stew with Christmas on top. Christmas is a uh, Santa Fe slang for red and green chili, which is genius. And no one else implements this, but we enjoy the hell out of this. I'm so happy right now that this stew is right in front of me. Like, yes! <laughs> Holy fuck, this stew is so good. You guys, like, um, if you're ever, if you're ever in Santa Fe, New Mexico, Tuna Cafe, green chili stew, Christmas on top, so good. Oh my god. Uh -huh. oh. Next stop, I know I just ate, but we're gonna eat again because it's hot dog time. We are about to get a Chicago dog, one of the best hot dogs I've ever had probably. Because, yeah, and I'm still hungry because I'm a fat little boy, but it's okay. Food is food, yeah. We got two hot dogs because I said, fuck it, we ball, and got both. So we got the, ooh, boy, got the Chicago dog right here, which looks absolutely wild. Ooh. Then we got, holy what? Yep, I remember this one right here. Santa Fe dog, Christmas of course. Holy shit. Yeah, this is gonna go crazy. Oh my God. I'm such a fat ass, but food is food and I love food. Let's go. It's dinner time at six o'clock. So kind of early dinner for me, but I just said I should probably eat now before I forget. We are at Cowgirls. I haven't been here in 10 plus years. Uh, looking forward to it. Fuck yeah. So, I forgot about this, but uh, out there in the back of the restaurant is like the family area. They have a little kids' crane there. I remember my siblings and I would always play on that because we're little shits. <laughs> wow. Um, Goddamn. It smells like tobacco and beer and burgers. I don't know if that's what it always smelled like, but yep, it sure smells like that. I <laughs> uh, just finished eating. <laughs> I totally forgot to take a photo or video of the food. 
Oh, man, this vlog is probably dog shit, but man, I don't care anymore. I gotta edit, and the more videos I record, the more I have to edit, so, ugh. Yeah. Also, um, yeah, Cowgirls is a family restaurant, so I'll probably never come there by myself ever again. Even if I am like 21 and like can just like sit at the bar again, uh, that's not that's not the vibe. So, yeah, duly noted. <laughs> it is 9 p.m. I'm gonna end the vlog here. Um, not exactly sure I should finish this. Um, God, fuck. Okay. I did everything I personally wanted to do, as in eat. <laughs> like that was my main priority, especially here. Um, besides that, I got nothing else to do. Uh, I had some closure, that's for sure. Um, I might n never be back here <laughs> with in Santa Fe, like at least under my obligation, like our own choice, because like. Yeah, I don't, I don't have any reason to be here. And yeah, that's about it. So thankfully the VODs are on Twitch. So half the vlog is in this video, which you would know because if you're at this point, you watch this vlog that far. But uh, yeah, uh, I, guess, I guess that's it. It's been Yuji. Thanks for watching. Oh shit. If I, before I forget, um I might do another vlog of tomorrow, like my time in Albuquerque and El Paso. But honestly, I just kind of don't want to give a fuck about recording everything. So, um yeah. All right. Bye.